Hall Effect Crank Sensor Signal The crank sensor signal for a Hall Effect Sensor first has to be conditioned as an input to the final transistor. The final switching transistor is the one toggling the output to ground. As you may see here on the diagram, the first conditioning stage is done by the op-amp. Operational amplifiers come in chip format and multiple op-amps may come in one chip alone. At least two stages are needed to condition and amplify the signal to the base of the final transistor. This simplified diagram shows the dual stage op-amp, then the signal goes to the transistor base terminal and finally to the resistor on the far right. It is at this resistor where the final voltage is generated that makes up the signal. You always need a resistor to have a voltage drop against ground. The Zener diode and series resistor midway and on the top point to the reference voltage circuit that drives the crank sensor. All these components are placed both at the ECM and inside the crank sensor. The op-amp and final transistors are inside the crank sensor. The reference voltage circuit is inside the ECM and placed here together for sake of clarity.